Chantel Cross and her two kids set three extra places for dinner. You want more, Charlie? And Charles McCubrey, Peter Samaras, and Eckhart Teese couldn't be happier to have a seat at the table. I like living here. The three men are part of what's called the Medical Foster Home Program. You gonna play catch with Charlie? An innovative approach to an old problem. Oh, we catch it, Pete. Taking care of veterans who need extra care later in life. Give me what some of the advantages are of living here in a home as opposed to a nursing facility. It's, it's nice here and being in a nursing home, they just throw you away. They ignore you. But here we're like part of the family. All three men served in the military in the late 60s and early 70s. Charles in the Navy, Peter and Eckehart in the Army, which is the subject of some good-natured ribbing in their home. What do you guys like about each other? Nothing. <laughs> He's like a brother to me, yeah. Good job. Chantel's career began in a nursing home, but she realized she could provide a more comfortable environment in her home. Very good. Medical professionals and social workers visit the vet. Oh. I know you're doing it, Charlie. Chantel also takes them to services outside the home. The daycare center they go to is wonderful. We take the guys out to the mall, let them do some walking. Some might, might want coffee, we get them ice cream. Our caregivers treat the veterans as their own family. Dana Cooper is the VA's Director of Home and Community Care. She oversees the Medical Foster Home Program. The caregivers have to live in the home with the veteran, and so we really see that family bond and relationship. It takes a different person to do this, Ms. Cooper. Yeah. Why? I believe that every veteran has a right to remain and age in place and be with people who surround them with love. Almost half of the veteran population is 65 and over. Nursing homes can cost over $100,000 per year out of pocket. The medical foster program costs vets less than half that. Caregivers receive, on average, $2,800 per month from each veteran living in their home. Chantel, what do you get out of this? A lot. It gives me a peace of mind to know that I'm able to help others and give back. I love helping others and I love giving back. The program began in 2002 in Arkansas, Florida, and Puerto Rico. Today, it's found in 47 states where over 700 veterans receive home care from approximately 500 caregivers. How long do you envision yourself doing this? Forever, I don't ever wanna stop. Any veteran enrolled in the VA system is eligible for this program. What I said. A program that serves as a powerful reminder about the healing power of home. For Ion America, hey, Charlie. I'm James Brown in Baltimore.